two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment of my entire life. It's alluring, it's compelling, it's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet in search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve themselves with the stories and become a product of influence. Thirsty for a distraction from time and spent, spoiling their minds, yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant, and it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One follows another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. It's spellbinding. All of these little consumers, all of these lost and bored people, people consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year for as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain. Stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants. Influence the ants. Brainwash the ants. Today I woke up from a very long dream, and I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. Yet just yesterday, people were calling me fat and sick. People are the most messed up creatures in the entire planet. And yet I still manage to stay two steps ahead of everyone. The joke's on you.